uh, hello dear uh, YouTube followers. Today I will be talking about Ukraine, the conflicts in Ukraine and Russian influence in Ukraine. So when we look at Ukraine, it is in eastern part of Europe. Uh, the location is East Europe. Uh, population is around, around 45 million and it's surrounded by Russia, Belarus, Poland, Slovakia, Romania, Moldova, Black Sea, and uh, there's a huge border between Russia and Ukraine. The location is very, very important for Europe and Russia. Nobody wants to give up this country because of its resources, nature resources, and wheat and grain. The nickname of Ukraine is breadbasket of Europe. This is really, really important because more than 80% of the wheat is coming from Russia or Ukraine to the whole world. When the war started in 2022, the whole world experienced when the bread, eggs prices increased. And now, <clears throat> uh, the war still continues, but I want to analyze uh, more about the conflict and uh, behind what's going on behind. So, communism or Soviet Union started in 1917. It ended 1991. There are, including Russia, there are 15 republics. So USSR is the largest republic or the country in the world. Uh, in 1990s and 91, starting with East European countries or republics, they start gaining independence. So this map shows you the difference between 1990 and today. So you can see in 1990, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Estonia, they gained their independence. In 1991, starting with Georgia, Ukraine, August 1991, gains independence. As you can see, Moldova, Azerbaijan, Uzbekistan, and Kyrgyzstan, they gained their independence. When we look at the quick facts, as you can see, the capital is Kiev. <clears throat> Population is around 45 million, but it's right now currently is less than 40 million because when the war started, many people migrated to Poland, East Europe or US. Official language is Ukrainian, major religion, Orthodox Christianity, and the currency is Grivna. Another important factor of Ukraine is, you can see a lot of natural resources, including oil, metals, chemicals, machinery, and of course, wheat. So root causes of Ukraine crisis is, uh, of course, Russia didn't want to lose Ukraine, even they gained their independence. They had close relationship with Ukraine since 1991. But uh, there was a conflict between Russian people who are living or who used to live in Ukraine in 2013, Viktor Yanukovych, the president of Ukraine, who was supported by Russia, didn't want to sign agreement with the European Union. Many people, they protested Yanukovych in Maidan moment. Maidan movement is the center of Kiev. Many people supported freedom and joining European Union. But Viktor Yanukovych, he didn't want this. Many people got injured dur during the movement. Many people died. Almost 100 people died during this event. After uh, January 2014, 
Yanukovych ordered military forces to crack down on protesters. And, but the next month, he left the country. He ran away. He went to Moscow, Russia. Of course, Russia didn't want to lose Ukraine. And in 2014, first, they took control of Crimea. Crimea is very, very important peninsula or region for Ukraine. It's, there are several seaports for Ukraine. And for Russia, it also is important because Russia always wants to control the warm waters. And in 2014, Russia annexed Crimea and supported forces to take control of eastern region of Ukraine. You can see eastern part of Ukraine, it's called Donbass. Donbass, it's coming from two regions, Luhansk and Donetsk. As you can see in the map, those two regions are very, very important because this regions before the war, before 2014, they were the richest regions of Ukraine because of the mining, coal mining, gold, and several other minerals. It was the most important source of these republics. And since 2014, the war continues in Donbas region. When Russia invaded Crimea and Donbas, European countries they didn't say anything. They didn't want to stop Russia, or maybe they didn't have the power. This is another map. It's showing the recent war, September 2022. As you can see, as if you remember, Russia attacked and wanted to control two largest cities, Kiev. But in Kiev, Russia was not successful. And then they took all their forces to Kharkiv. Kharkiv is the second largest city in Ukraine with a population of 1.5 million. They first controlled the city, destroyed most of the buildings. And as you can see, it's really close to the border of Russia. <clears throat> but after several months capturing Kharkiv, Russia lost the territory and they lost Kharkiv and even more territories in eastern part of Ukraine. This part I want to mention about the trading partners of Ukraine and Russia during the war. As you can see, there are top countries are for Ukraine and Russia is China, Germany. And before the war, as you can see, Russia was the second largest trading partners for Ukraine. And this is really, really important. But after the war, of course, they stop all kinds of trades. As you can see here, the Ukraine-Russia crisis and number of troops in eastern part of eastern part of Ukraine and southern part of Ukraine. As you can see, Crimea annexed by Russia in 2014. And the war has been ongoing since 2014 in Luhansk and Donetsk regions, eastern part of regions. If we want to summarize the first month of uh, the war in Ukraine, northern part of cities, most of the cities, they were controlled by Russia. 
and southern part of Ukraine because they also controlled Crimea and they wanted to get more territories. There are three important cities. Maripol is the another port, important port for Ukraine, Kherson, and Zaporizhia. These are the three important Ukrainian cities, but still conflict continues, the war continues in these regions. When we look at a uh, timeline, the war between Russia and Ukraine, you can see 2021, US, uh, November 10, US reports unusual Russian troop movements near the Ukrainian border. December 7, US threatens Russia with strong economic and other measures if it invades Ukraine. And 1st, January 17, Russian soldiers, they arrive, Belarus. January 19, U.S. announces an extra 200 million in security aid to Ukraine. Even though U.S. sends 3,000 soldiers to bolster NATO forces, but this is not going to help much. And February the war starts between Ukraine and Russia. The war still continues, and uh, but overall, uh, European countries or US, uh, unfortunately, they are supporting Ukraine, but this support is not enough. So U.S. accused Russia, Ukraine accused Russia, but uh, unfortunately uh, the conflict or there is no agreement between Ukraine and Russia. So again, when you look at eastern part of Ukraine, the war continues mostly there currently, even though Russia wanted to attack Odessa several times, but they couldn't take the city. But currently, Mariupol, important port, is under Russian. Donetsk is another important city, is under Russian control. Luhansk, another important Ukrainian city, is under Russian control. But the good news is Kiev and Kharkiv, the two biggest largest cities in Ukraine, they are right now under Ukrainian control. Thank you for watching my channel uh, and I would like to give more information about the war uh, in the future. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.